Welcome to the EG tutorial on modifying user settings. As an EG administrator, you may have already created some users inside the solution so that they can come in and use the tool. So you probably are familiar with the settings in the add user panel. Well, in this tutorial, we will go through the settings in the modify user menu here and show you how to change those. So first you select the user ID or you can type in here to actually narrow down the list. From here, you can change the user role, change their password, or change their expiration date. Click Next, and that will actually take you to the next tab up here on the top left. From here, you can change the time zone, and the date format, and which logo you would like them to see. In this case, it's the default, which is the EG Innovations logo. Next, you can change their email address and add and remove other email addresses in the CC and BCC fields. The alert settings section is for setting up what type of alerts they should be seeing in their emails. In most cases, you would only like to get notified when a red critical alert occurs. There are a lot of other options in here. I recommend sticking with the defaults and then coming down to this bottom part and just taking a look at what can be included in the email message. So for example, if you would like detailed diagnosis, change that to yes. If you would like email alerts only during certain periods of the day, click yes. And then you can set your days and shifts here. Next under monitor, we can show the user only certain alarms or all of the alarms coming in. If you would like to allow them the ability to delete an alarm, change this to yes. If you'd like to allow them the ability to acknowledge an alarm, choose yes here. And what that looks like is when they see their current alarms window, they will have the ability to check the box on an alarm, acknowledge it, and even make a commentary or a note to a team member such as, I am working on this. And then you hit Submit. Another setting you can change for the users is which page they land on when they click on Monitor. If you notice, I click on Monitor, it goes to a Zones page. That is based on this setting here. You can have it go to any of these pages. These are the basic options for modifying users. They're the same options when you add a user. So hopefully this tutorial is helpful. And if you have other questions, please reach out to your support person or account representative.